good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of We Gotta Make Sure the Light is Red. Yeah, welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Shower Review. We have a shower bath. A shower bath. A shower bath. Um. There we go. Feel better now. Uh. Anyway, uh, this will be the third time I've tried to record this video. Uh, I'm going to have to check how the uh, video turned out. Maybe we'll put it in an outtake. Luckily, I have. Uh, no, I, luckily I brought more than one glass with me. Now, I do mention all the time to use plastic glasses in the shower because, you know, glasses can slip and if they fall, they break and you're in the shower. You don't want to deal with broken glass in your drain and in your feet and everything. Well, I brought a glass glass. I brought two glass glasses. I had one over here and I had one over here on the edge of the tub. Well, while I was setting this camera up, one of my dogs came over and knocked the glass off the edge into the tub and broke it. So it's a good thing I brought two. I uh, wish it had been plastic. And also, then I started the video and uh, the camera kept falling. I don't know if it showed my junk or not, but we're going to have to check. And if it didn't show my junk, it will go in an outtakes video. But yeah, it just kept falling. So here we are. Here we are with uh, a beer. Our shower beer today is from Gannon Offway Brewing in Kingston. This is Naughty Otter. Now, I've had Naughty Otter before, but this is Naughty Otter Wheat. I didn't realize that they were doing like a Bud Light thing and uh, making their own brand, a sub-brand of their brand. So this is 4.8% alcohol. It says ingredients, water, wheat, hops, and yeast. What, is there no malt other than wheat? Is it just malted wheat? 4.8% alcohol. It can't just be malted wheat. You had, to use, uh, you had to use barley in here. Come on. Uh, get a knockway on Terry. Open. Okay, let's pour it. Let's see what we got. Um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see, right there makes me sad. That is... Let's get rid of the... Uh, oh, I just poured them on my hand. Let's get rid of the haze here from the shower. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much crystal clear. That's not what I expect out of a weed unless the crystal visin. Didn't say crystal visin on there, so whatever. Maybe a filtered weed. Maybe, uh, maybe they don't... Uh, maybe they pull from the top of the top of the fermenter when they're, when they're canning. And you know, some of them are like this and some of them are super, super thick. I don't know what they do. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever they do is what they do. But uh, golden color, crystal clear. There was a little bit of white head. It went away right away. Set. It smells very bready, very wheaty. Very, very, uh, I'm at a bakery baking. Very yeasty. It has a tiny touch of that banana scent. And that's about it. Like there's that just gritty meatiness and a little bit of banana and nothing else really mm. okay well what we're going to do is put that there right now and we'll talk about that that was a intriguing little sip that i just took um again very very bready very gritty very yeasty uh, oh, uh, yeah. Now the skill to the shower beers is uh, doing two things at once, right? You gotta do things like shampoo up your your mustache and stuff, and then not drink any shampoo. So. Let's do this. All righty. Yeah. Just biscuity, bready, yeasty. Little bit of banana. Little bit, not much. Yeah, cannon off with. Yeah, I might hear like puddling down below me, and that's because uh, 
Yeah, I gotta clean up my brain. My ex-wife shedded. I was just having taken the, uh, I have one of those pieces of plastic you shove down the drain that has a bunch of ridges and you pull it out and you get all the disgusting old hair out. And I've just, my stomach hasn't felt strong enough to do that for a few months now, so I haven't done it. It doesn't taste bad. I mean, it doesn't taste like the greatest wheat beer. Like I said, it's just bready. It's just biscuity. It's just yeasty with a tiny touch of banana. It kind of reminds me of uh, of an American wheat, kind of like, say, Molson Canadian wheat, but with more flavor because it's more of that, that weediness and a little bit of banana. But that's what it reminds me of. It's just like a, uh, a filtered wheat beer with Belgian yeast, and that's it. That's all it is. I mean, that's all it tastes like to me. Could it be different? Sure, it could be different, but I don't think it is. So, out of 10 on this, Ooh, out of 10 on this, I don't know, a 6, 7, 5, there's nothing wrong with it, I just won't buy it again. I'd rather drink the Naughty Auger, Naughty Otter Lager, if I was going to drink one of the Naughty Auger beers. The Naughty Auger, Naughty Otter beers. Are, I never thought that Naughty Otter would be a tongue twister for me. Naughty Otter, Naughty Otter, no, 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 it is, it, it, Naughty Otter, Naughty Otter. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, have a wonderful evening, or I'll be until see you soon, bye-bye!